Hey, what is going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. I hope you all are having a great day and if you are new to the channel, welcome. My name is Gus Noah and now let's get into tutorial number 11. This fire in my head got me on edge. I'm going out tonight. Fade it on so the topic that I'm going to be showing you all today is a masking transition through an object or a shape. The first thing you're going to need to do for this transition to work though is inside of the camera. So you're going to want to find an object or a shape to film. And then after that what you're going to want to do is have your camera and go completely through it or completely back through it. So a pull back shot or a pull forward shot and you want to go completely through that shape. Because what you're going to be doing is masking out that area with another scene. So let's go into Premiere Pro so I can show you how to complete this transition. Okay, so now that we're in Premiere Pro, here are the two shots that I'm going to be using. I'm going to be using this shot of this guy holding this little frame of a TV and then a drone shot from Japan. So this is exactly what I was talking about, having a shape or an object. So here I'm going to be using this kind of square shape from the TV to mask out and you see how I pull towards it like that to where I completely go through it. That is very important for this transition to work. So now the first step to do this, let's put this clip up one layer and this one underneath. So then let's select the top clip of the TV and then go over here to video effects to the masking. So let's go to the opacity right here and let's click the pen tool and let's start masking this out. So what you're going to want to do I'm going to do this kind of rough. I'm not going to do it perfectly. So let's start creating a mask. I kind of do a little square and then you see how it's like that. You're going to want to come back over here to where it says mask one and invert that. Perfect. Now it's inside the TV. Let me fix these points a little bit. I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to spend too much time into doing this. You can spend as much time as you want to get it perfect. But I'm going to show you guys kind of the gist of how to do this. So there we have our mask. And then what we're going to want to do is then create a keyframe. It. So go back to video effects to where it says mask one. And right underneath it, you're going to want to click that stopwatch to create a keyframe. Perfect. And click mask one again so we can see the mask. So then what I'm going to do, I'm going to scrub through it, kind of readjusting the points to make sure the mask is tracked to the TV as I go closer and closer to it. I'm going to have to readjust it no matter what. It's not going to be following it right away. So I'm going to track it real quick and then I'm going to show you guys what it looks like when it's done. But what's very important is to make sure that those points are held there the whole time as you're readjusting it. Otherwise, it's not going to look too good. And another thing that I like to do sometimes is feather it off a little bit. So I might put it up to 20 like that. So it's a little softer on the edges. So it kind of fits better. It blends a little better. All right. Now I'm going to track the points real quick and then I'll show you guys what it looks like when it's done. Okay, so now that we finished doing the masking, here is how it looks. See how it goes and it keeps going until it fully goes through that shape and reveals that as the full scene. Then. So that's exactly what I was talking about when I was saying you pull all the way forward or pull all the way back so you could get that. So when you're masking it, you mask it fully into that shape when it passes through and then it reveals that as the scene. I could have done the mask a little better and taken more time on it, but for the tutorial, I just wanted to show you the basic steps on how to do it. You yourself can take more time on perfecting the mask and taking more time on it, but that is basically how you do this transition. So again, I'll show you how it looks. See how it passes all the way through. Perfect. Again. It's very important when you do it yourself, I would say for you to take more time on the masking, but that is basically how you do a mask transition through an object or a shape. So if this tutorial helped you in any kind of way, please subscribe and like. I will be trying to do a tutorial once a week and thank you for watching. <laughs>